wait for two or three minutes then we will start the next topic uh, actually we are continuing the uh, javascript arrays so we will continue the arrays and then move to the next topics okay let wait for uh, two or three minutes Okay, so let's start the uh, JavaScript. What we are left, uh, we are we are continuing the JavaScript arrays. Actually, we are continuing the JavaScript arrays. So again, let's start the first of the JavaScript array so that we will remember what is array. Okay, so here in JavaScript, how we write a JavaScript, uh, JavaScript array? How to uh, how to write how to take for anything date or bar or uh, constant anything you want to take. Give the third bracket. This is the array symbol. You want to add the elements. The whatever you write here. Suppose instead of a, I suppose write fruits. I write fruits. Red fruits. This is the because this is the array name. This is the array name is fruits. Suppose I take. I am adding the. The these are the elements. No, 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 apple, go over. So these are the elements of array. Banana is one element, apple is one element, go is another element. 
So, and this is the name of the array, fruits. This is the name of the array. And you can take any data type date, any data type you can relate to bar or <coughs> Uh, you want to take anything, then as name and then your array name. But in Java, if you consider in Java, then highly different. Suppose you take one data type that is called. to then you take the variables, the elements actually. Suppose I am taking it. I am taking C. So in Java, in that fashion, we take the address. Here in JavaScript, um, when we start the Java, then we let understand what is what is the array. But now let understand this, this because this is the in that fashion we write the JavaScript. Okay, so first we have to do the example. I think we already done the example again, just for remember. Doing the example. We open the VS Code. After that, you all do. In, in the meantime, I'm sharing the code. You can do, and my BS code is open. VS code is opening. So this is the example of JavaScript array. Similar type here they have taken ID demo and then they have taken car. They have taken the array name cars. They have taken the three card name. The three card name means the three These are called the array names. Call the array names. Let's run this. And for printing, whatever you take, you just write here document HTML equal to cards. So the so the three variety of cards will be print in the uh, array fashion. Okay, so let's run this. Yeah, JavaScript errors and 
three types of three elements of array will be picked. The array type. S W B Volvo and B M W will be picked. This is the this is the uh, example of array. In that in that fashion, we can write that. Okay, I will give you another example. this in a system here what they have do they have taken and okay i'm just sharing it. they have taken first of all they have taken the id demo and then in the script that cards equal to new that they have taken in that fashion you also Write the array in that fashion also. In that way, you can write the array also. First of all, I have given the third bracket, but then here you can write in that fashion also. Take on cars equal to new array, then three type three elements of array. Then you can write here equals to demo and then this. also this Write, uh, you can write this fashion or you can write this fashion. Whatever the answer will be set. Let's uh, run this. Become a shadow uh, shadow screen. Yes, sir. Okay, just to time stop. Sir. This is the first portion. Yes. Yes, okay. Not stop share. If you go to that here, how we can write the array. What is an array? You can also see if it's just a line sharing the things otherwise. Just see here. I have already shared this. Again, I have there are so many theories are there. What is an array? How can you write the array? In the final article of this module, you can read this. We look at arrays. So, what basically what is an array? They are generally described as list like objects. List like object list. What is list? It can be ordered list, it can be unordered list, it can be description list, whatever the list are there. These are the list, list like objects. We write here Volvo, then we can write uh, F1, whatever the car names are, we can write list by list. It is a formal list. So that's why they are called list like objects. Arrays are generally described as list like objects. They are basically single objects that contain multiple values. They have contain multiple values. Because in the fruits, suppose if I take the fruits, then I can take uh, multiple fruits. I can take the elements multiple. It can be guava, it can be 
acrylic can be banana anything we can take the multiple values stored in a list we have to store it in a list so what is basically they are basically single objects that contain multiple values stored in a list array objects can be stored in variables and deal with in much the same way as any other type of the value and here they are telling if we did not have arrays we have to store every time in a separate value okay so if the suppose if you don't use the array then what you have to do if you don't use array then we have to store every item in a separate variable so you can we can write separate variable suppose let food equals to uh, banana then in the second line let food one equals to every time you have to create the data type and also variables also then another variable food one equals to guava and then another in the third line another you can write uh, let food two equals to but in that fashion you, every time you have to write the separate separate elements but in the but if we use the array then we can write in single line then we have to store every time in a separate variable then call the code that does the printing then we have to execute the code so as i told you how we create the arrays suppose they have taken shopping They have taken the uh, we have shopping also we have to bread, milk, cheese, noodles, and then console dot log shopping. Okay, one thing is there. You just write document. You can write here document dot write. Also, you can write console dot log for printing. Console dot log or document dot write. There will be same thing for printing in JavaScript. There is no differentiate between. There is no difference between console dot log or document dot write. They are both. You can write console dot log or you can write document uh, console document dot write. You can write uh, you can write also sequence sequence means one one two three five eight thirteen. You can write you can take the integer value also in that. You can write here the random the random value means what three. You can write a string value. Then you can write the integer value also. Here you, you you can write three. Then you can write seven nine five and zero one two. You can write here in that fashion you. This type of it is called mixed up elements. Mixed up elements means what? Uh, you can <coughs> do the string value, then you can do the integer. You can write. So this is called mixed up. Okay, so this is the another example they have taken. Shopping equal to bread, meat, cheese, noodles, and then console dot log shopping dot length. So we have to take the length. So what is the length? The length should be five because one, two, three, four, and five. There are five elements. There are five um, five uh, shopping items is there. One is bread, milk, cheese, human, and noodles. That's why the length of the shopping is five. That's why the output is five. Jaisi, that is that is the example of array length. Finding the length of an array. You can find out the length of the array. How many items are in? That is basically the length of the array. Now, enter the following into your console. What is? They have they have taken the same shopping. And shopping zero. Okay. Then return bread. Okay. Just just you. now forget this. In the time being, then console dot log shopping zero. Shopping zero means what? You have to understand one thing in the array. In array, in bread, in array, uh, we are looking. We are starting from zero. The bread equals to zero, milk equals to one, cheese equals to two, hummus equals to three, and noodles equals to four. So these are the five actually five uh, five elements or five food items. But here you can, but here actually in the array. So we can uh, take bread equals to zero. We take bread equals to zero. It's bread equal should bread equals to zero. Zero it denote one. Cheese denote two. Milk equals to three. And noodles equals to four. So zero to four. So that's why your answer should be bread. So if we take zero, your answer should be bread. Return bread. Suppose if I take suppose if I take one here, then it it should be milk. 
if I take, suppose if I take three, then it should print what? Zero, one, two, three. That should be print. Basically, so starting, you have to remember the starting from zero, not one. You cannot consider grade equals to one. You have to consider grade equals to zero. Zero, one, two, three, four. In that fashion, the error will continue. That is the uh, one type of rule of error. Okay. These are the very uh, small, small, uh, just concept type example they have taken. These are actually these are very easy. So small, small concept example. So you can your understanding will be more clear. Okay. So next, uh, next part. That's why I am uh, telling that you follow uh, this uh, MDN Docs website. Okay. Now, what they have taken. You have to modify, okay, now you have to modify the item in an array. Suppose uh, here they have taken the same shopping, then bread will, see they have taken the same thing, and then shopping zero equals to tahini. They have taken one thing, then shopping. Okay, so now in that, okay, so I have no tahini in that element, in that element i have no dahin but they have but we have to print dahin so how we print we have to print uh, so okay so we have i have to consider tahini as a starting so before the bread i have to enter the tahini in that fashion we the array will be print so first uh, bread will remove because instead of bread, we that means there is an exchange actually. So we can remove the bread and then enter the tiny. That is called the tiny milk, cheese, hummus, and noodles. So in that fashion, the uh, arrow will be picked. Basically, we remove the zero position, then enter the new value in zero position. That is the thing. Remove the bread and enter this thing. That is, if suppose if I change the zero to one, then the milk will be out. Then bread, tiny cheese, hummus, and noodles will be cooked. That is another thing. Okay, now this this is very important. Finding items in an array. Finding items in an array. We have to, I have taken define that is the index of method. Previous, previous day, I am telling you index of method. Okay, so let's understand the index of method. Okay, they have taken the bars. In that, in that operation, they have taken the bars. Okay, bars are parrot, falcon, and out. They have taken the three elements, parrot, falcon, and out. And then we have to print what? We have to print bars dot index of out. Okay, so item, we have to index the item. I will use what? What is the number of the item? I will use in which position? Zero, one, two. Tau will be position number two. So that's why it will print two. Here, then they have entering the rabbit. But here, the no rabbit will be shown. But I have to take, but I have to take in parrot as a zero. So basically, what will happen? It will be minus one. Minus one means what? We have to take in the uh, rabbit, then parrot. So zero. So basically, the, uh, what is the uh, forward number of zero? The forward number of zero is minus one, and then the minus one will be uh, rabbit. That's how you have to take it. So the minus one will be rabbit, then zero is parrot, one is falcon, and two is out. So index of it, the numbering actually. Okay, now uh, let comes to the hands on again. These are the very small, small uh, items. You can also add the items. You can see this also. You just don't uh, go through any day. You don't do anything there. 
because all these things we don't need actually. All these things we don't need, but what I am telling, these are the small, small things we need actually. These things we don't need actually. So you can remove this. Not all things you need to know for the for real life work. So here adding items. So suppose uh, if I want to add items, suppose here they have taken the cities. They have taken cities, then it is the Manchester and Liverpool. They have taken the two cities in England, Manchester and Liverpool. I have to add Cardiff. Cities dot push Cardiff. So I have to push. The one method is push method. We have to push the Cardiff. So what will happen? Then Manchester, Liverpool and Cardiff will be picked. In that fashion, the arrow will be Again, I have to push two cities, Bradford and Brighton. Again, I have to print the cities. So what will be the arrow? The arrow will be Manchester, Liverpool, Cardiff, Bradford and Brighton. Manchester, Liverpool, Cardiff, Bradford and Brighton. So the main, basically the, what the learning, learning is the push method. You put the one six. you have to add the six one by one. And as I told you, always remember the Manchester is denote to zero. Liverpool is denote to one. Cardiff is denote to two. Bradford is not three and Brighton is not four. Don't consider Manchester equals to one. Manchester, Manchester is always considered equals to zero. So they have taken basically again the next example. They have taken basically uh, the length. The cities they have taken the Manchester, Liverpool, and Bristol because they are uh, adding the Bristol, Manchester, Liverpool, and Bristol, and then length. What is the length of that? The length of that is three because they have uh, because the elements are three, one, two, and three. So these are the small, small examples. Very easy. You can easily understand this. Okay, now let's come to the our uh, main coding program. Okay, so understand this? Yes, sir. Okay. Okay, now accessing the array elements program. Suppose I, okay, I am giving you the program. The window system.
another example another pretty excellent example is there also do this this is very excellent example here they have taken uh, Saab, Volvo and BMW, the three cars, three elements, but cars zero equal to Opel. So as I told you, cars zero equal to Opel means uh, you have to, instead of the Saab, you change the Opel. So the, so the print, uh, array print will be Opel, Volvo and BMW. Do this in your system. Okay, they will uh, share your screen. Hello, they will Yes, sir. Yes, yes. Okay. Okay, and the next example. Yes. Okay, I'll stop sure.
Now there is uh, we are up to the new length and this. So next. We are gone to the unshift method. That is another type of method that is called unshift method. So what is unshift method? Let's see. Here, CT is equal to Manchester and Liverpool. They have uh, taken Manchester and Liverpool. Then they have taken unshift Edinburgh. Then we have to print the cities. So here, what unshift is doing? So we have to understand what is unshift is doing. Unshift is what? Here, if we use the push method, then Edinburgh will go to the last. Manchester, Liverpool, and Edinburgh. But here, if we use unshift method, then we use, then Edinburgh will go to the first. Edinburgh, Manchester, Liverpool. Just see the example. Of if we use push, if we use the addition, then Manchester, it will go to the last. The, num, the number two position. But when, if you use the unshift method, then it will go to the zero position. That is the unshift method. Okay, let's come to the removing items. Removing items means what? I have to remove the, I have to remove the elements. So you have to use the pop. Suppose the cities are uh, Manchester and Liverpool. We have to use the one, then only Manchester will remove. So Liverpool will remove. So Liverpool will remove. Now, it is another example of pop method. They have taken the cities, Manchester and Liverpool. Removes and uh, so now I have taken the remove city because so cities dot for then remove city. Okay, now Manchester will go. Now the Liverpool will go, the Manchester will go. So the print is Liverpool. Now basically the print is Liverpool. If we use remove city equals to cities dot for. So in that fashion, you can. Remove items or in that fashion, you can remove the items. There is basically two items. That is shift. Okay, so shift. what the shift person is doing, Manchester and Liverpool is there. Just using the shift method. Then printing the city, so Liverpool will be print. The Manchester will go out. Manchester will remove. That is the shift. We are using the unshift method. We are using the shift method. To remove the first item from the array. We want, suppose you want to use the first item. In that case, we use shift. But here, in the unshift method, to add an item to the start of the array. Suppose you want to add item in the zero position. In the zero position, you want to add on it. Then you have to use the unshift. So, so look the difference between the shift and unshift method. And if we if we add the zero position any element, then we have to use the unshift. But in the shift method, to remove the item, to remove the first item, then the Manchester will remove the Liverpool will remain. It is a shift and unshift method. We don't want to uh, use a slice method, so let's forget about the slice method. Actually, in real life, we don't want to, we don't use it. Sir, please explain uh, pop. Okay. What pop is doing for removing the items to remove the last item from the array for the using pop, removing the last item. Last item means what? The number one position, the Liverpool will remove. Liverpool will go out. So here is the difference between the pop and shift. Basically, the two methods are using for remove. But here in the sheet method is part doing. The sheet method is removing the first item, but the pop method is removing the last item. 
they have to work. If I here do the I mean shift method, then the magister will leave. But if we use the pop method, then the liver will leave. That is the functionality of the pop method. You can do also, you can uh, anyway, you can run in your machine also. Giving the shift method. The doing in the system. Basically, uh, the main learning is uh, which method is removing the which element. That is the main. That is the main learning. Okay, so now we don't want to use the slice method. Now, accessing the items, we, we use that. We don't use this type of for and off. This is we don't require it. Okay, now again, we come to the code, the examples. Now doing uh, one, but they are basically saying they are basically saying they have taken the the length property and the length of that. So we have to basically define the length of that. It is very easy. They have taken the fruits. They have taken banana, orange, apple, and mango. So one, two, three, and four. The four is the length of that. So basically, the output will be. Four. Do we in your system? Okay, do these two program in your system. Hello, sir. Yes. Sir, my VS code is not working. Your VS code is not working. Okay, let me uh, share your screen. Oh, so this is basically a, a this is the HTML code actually. Yes. Okay, now seven run. Okay, the the output will be four actually. Now uh, seven. The no output. No output. Yes, sir. Oh, okay, and then first save this and then uh, actually, uh, okay, so the output is not coming. You want to save? Yes, yes sir. So 
I think your browser is not opening actually. Like, yes. When you go to the right side, but your browser is not opening. Okay, just close the close yes. the VS Code, close the all the tabs, close all the tabs, and then close the VS Code and you can restart. Okay, sir. No, first, uh, first of all, you close all the tabs. That uh, that J seven not estimate, J ten not estimate, J eleven not estimate. You first of all, you close all this. Just right, just right click, right click on the tab, and then close it. Now close this and again it starts. Yes, now run this. Then not run. Not run. Okay, so uh, one thing you can do if this live server is not running. And the browser is not opening, then you can do another thing. Uh, you just create a new uh, terminal. You uh, you install the Node.js. There is there is the there is the one Sir, software. It, it, no, no, it's a software. Oh. Uh, this is basically one software Node.js. And to understand why your browser is not coming, you have to just go through your VS uh, Code uh, settings, I think. You have to go the debug, uh, debug settings, I think. Just in this, just once change the uh, debug settings, you know. I just uh, you you can do one thing. Uh, just open your VS Code. The go go to the go to the program. Okay, why is your uh, why is your upper menu? I don't see your upper menu. That menu is uh, the file edit selection view go run terminal. Why uh, why is your menu? Okay, yes, now go to the uh, run, go to the run, and then run without debugging. Run without debugging. 
Now go to the Chrome or Edge, anything. Yes. Now that run. Thank you, sir. Yes. Okay, now stop share. Okay, Nia, uh, share your screen. Uh, just show the output. Hello, Nia. Can you hear me? Can you can share your screen? Hello, in heaven. In heaven, can you hear me? Yes. Yes, and the previous one. Yes. Yes. Yeah. yes, I am. Yes, I am. Sure. Yes. Okay. Okay, now stop sharing. Okay, now we move, proceed. Now we can go to the another very beautiful example. That is called the conditional statement. That is called for loop is coming. In the now part of the JavaScript, what is for loop? I'm sharing this. We have taken JavaScript errors, the best way to loop. So they are they are using the loops. How we use the loop? That is the main thing. The loops mean for loop. There are many types of loops are out there. Basically, these loops are in the Java. When you learn Java, then the loops will be better understand. But I am just telling you how to use loops in the JavaScript. The best way to loop through an array is using a standard for loop. So basically, the loops example. So they have taken demo as ID, and then I have to take in the fruit. Then take in the four uh, element banana, orange, apple, and mango. Okay, then they have taken length fruits, f length, f length is fruits length actually, fruits dot length. So the length will be four. Okay, that will go the one part. Then come to the loop here. Yeah. Let text, I have taken one text. Let text equal to ul. ul means what? If you remember the HTML. You will means the unordered list. You will means the unordered list. For the unordered list, you can use the evil tag. For the unordered list. Now they have taken the for loop. For looping, actually for looping, we have to use the for loop. There are so many loops out there. For loop, if else, these are the conditional statement. If else are there, for loop is there, while loop is there, do while loop is there, for each loop is there. There are so many loops are out there, but now concentrate on for loop. In that fashion, we have to take in the for loop. For let i, they have taken i is a number, i equals to zero. So the array will be start with zero, zero, one, two, three in that fashion. Zero, i less than equals to n. Less than length. Length is four. So they have taken one bound. That is the condition. Zero to four. Length is four. Length is four. One, two, three, four. 
the length is 4. So 0 to 4, then i plus plus. So that will be increasing. Plus plus means this increment of i. Then that text equals to list. So this is basically this is a list. Whether it will be another list or order list or description list. That's fruits I list. Then text another list. Document not get delivered by ID demo. Then we have to print the text. So this is so this is the for loop. This is the for loop actually. Okay, so let's uh, see the output that will be better understood. Now see the output. Uh, the best way to loop through an array is using a standard for loop. As you can see here, this is the unordered list. This is the unordered list. If I give the ordered list, then it will be one, two, three, and four. Just like the order list. And this is the unordered list. B O A N A is there. Banana, orange, apple, and mango. That will be print. So basically, the list will print, the array will print, but the list wise fashion. The list wise fashion it will be print. zero to four. Banana, orange, apple, and mango. And one thing you remember banana, orange, apple, and mango. In that fashion, you will print. So this is the for loop actually. In that fashion, we will use the loop. Compared to this uh, programming your system. Now, another example, it's the same example of 
the for loop, the loop example. Another loop example. Do this also this example. Okay, now also do this program. I am just sending you what they have taken care of. The ASCII pairs, they have taken the my on click my function. And then they have taken the demo as ID and they have taken the fruits, banana, orange, and apple. This is the error. And then Fruits, we have to print the fruits so the banana, banana, orange, and apple will be printed. Okay, that's fine. That we understand. Now, what they have taken? Function my function. Okay. Now, fruits dot push lemon. Okay, so now they have to push one element. Push means what? Push means addition. I am telling you, push, uh, add the element. Lemon will be add. Then we have to print the fruits. The output. Okay, the push method appends a new element to an arrow. Okay, so now try it. That lemon will come. In the moment you click the on click function, that you have here. If I, every time I click the try it button, the lemon will act. That is the thing. Every time I click the function on click equals to my function, inside the my function, I have to add the lemon. I have to add the array, the lemon element. So banana, orange, apple. Banana, orange, apple, then lemon. That is the thing. Okay, now I do this program.
the devajyoti yeah, share your screen Hello, the Vijay. Please share your screen. Yes. Now runs. It is black. Okay, uh, close close your PBS codes. Uh, close the PBS tabs. Then again. You know, Yes. Okay, that's stop share. Now we are <clears throat> that it will go to the array. Now we are doing how to open the conversion. Conversion means how we change the array to string? How we change the array to string example? How we can change the array to string? Basically, this is the sort of type casting. We change the data. That is not the type casting because type casting is change the data type, but here you can change the from array to string. So we use a two string method. We use the two string method that I tell you the previous session. We use the two string method. Okay, one example I'm giving you. That is a, that is a two string method. Okay, those two string method, the two string method returns an array as a comma separated string. Now ID equals to demo. And then stream will start. Then fruits, banana, orange, apple, and mango. The four fruits are four elements are there. And then fruits dot string. If you don't use the fruits two string method, then the fruits will automatically fill. But if you use the two string method, then the total array will change to the string. So you see the output, then it can better understand. Okay, just to time uh, sharing the screen, sharing the browser screen. You see here the two string method returns array as comma separated thing. Banana, orange, apple, and none. This is not the array. This is the string. It is basically the output of the array to string. That is the, uh, so in that fashion we use a two string method to convert the array to string. Now do this in your system.
then we'll move to the next okay now one method is join join is the method that is also joins all array elements into a string now one method is joins method it behaves like two string but you can specify the separate okay then share on join method you can understand and just share i have shared the you uh, using the joint method as you can see here two star join so the all the four elements will be joined banana or a chapla okay do this in your system same example that uh, just like the previous one. Now do these two program and then we will come to this example.
Okay, now come to this example. Okay, so they have taken, uh, okay, now we use shift, unshift, pop and push. All the methods that we are already know. Now come to the delete example, delete. Now come to the uh, delete. So we want to delete on element. We delete on element. So I have taken the two IDs, demo one and demo two. Then banana, orange, apple, and mango is there. Z, and then now I have to uh, delete roots two. Roots two. Okay. Now first of all, I have to print the second two. Uh, two means sorry, zero one apple. Okay. So here it will be print apple. Fruit zero means what? You delete the banana. And the entire array will be print. The orange apple and mango will be print. You delete the banana, the zero position is banana, then it will be print. And then again, you just print one in demo two. Okay, now you just print uh, one means what? Orange. So, first of all, print the orange. Then next, okay, there is no delete. So we can delete. Here, I am taking, we have to delete the one. Delete one means what? The orange will be removed. So the banana, apple, and mango is remaining there. So that is the basically the they remove the element or delete the element from the end. Another function is there that is called concatenation. Concatenation means what? We have to join the suppose suppose uh, your first name and your last name. Your first name is a different word and your last name is a different word. So we have to concatenate this. Concatenate means what? First name and last name will be added. That is the basically on addition. Addition or concatenation is the same thing. Not the exactly the same thing, but concatenation is that will join it. So I load this example as the continuous example.
Okay, or uh, share your screen now. Okay, just to I am stop the sharing. Now uh, share. Hello, everybody. Yes, sir. I share your screen. Yes. Can I show the previous example? Yes. yes. Okay, now stop share. Okay, now we are doing the sorting. JavaScript sorting. Nothing basically this is the JavaScript dot sort. Sorting is the very important. Sorting the error. Basically, short we have to sorting the error. Sorting the error means alphabetically we have to sort. I am doing the error. This is the sorting example. Right here, fruit dot short. So the banana, orange, apple, and mango is there, but it will be apple, banana, and where orange. Okay, do this in your system. This example. Okay, now next we have to reverse the error. Now it is a uh, error shorting. Now we have to reverse that. 
reverse the array means suppose we have uh, banana orange apple and mango we have to reverse the array reverse the array means uh, a to z then you have to do the z to a then in that sequence actually then first come to o then m then b then a, in that fashion actually That is called an reverse. What is the reverse an example? Okay, now the next is here we have to do the shorting but here we have to do the uh, in the numerical shorting numerical shorting means suppose one two three four and five is there so we have to reverse this reverse means five four three two one that means three so then this is the numerical the numerical shorting is there okay so just uh, I'm sharing. At uh, forty, hundred, one, five, and twenty-five, ten is there. One, two, three, four, five, six elements is there. Six numerical elements. So we have to uh, short. Short means uh, forty. If we short, the how many? One ten hundred twenty five forty and five. If we short the numerically, then one five ten twenty five fourteen hundred. So shorting basically is shorting the numerical actually. Basically, this is the shorting of the number. You have six, forty, hundred, one, five, twenty-five, and ten. Basically, the this type of array. So you have to short the number. Number means first of all come one, then five, then ten, then twenty-five, then forty, then hundred. That's it.
Okay, Vikram, share your screen. Yes, sir. Yes, no, never please. Yes, so we have short and events. Yes, so Okay, so we have to now use the iteration. Iteration the reference we have to use the iteration. In Java for iteration, we use the for loop, then we have to iterate. But here in JavaScript, we just use the text here. That I am showing, just um, giving the example for each method. There is one method is called for each method for the iteration. I am sharing. Just see in this example, JavaScript array dot for each. The for each method, the for each method is for iteration. Iteration is what forty five, then four, then nine, then six to the twenty five. The least twice type this will be printed. And give nothing numbers because I have taken the numbers. Numbers are for each. Here we have to use the for each method. For each method, my function. So we have to print a text value. Then we have to break. We are taking this break. So the 45 print, then 4 print, then 9 print, then 16 print, then 25 print. The list type. In that fashion, it will be print. Okay, so the so show the output will be better understand. That loop will come again, iterate, iterate the loop, then come to the 4, then iterate, then 9, then 16, then 20. That means the iteration. The loop will iterate. That, uh, that iteration you also uh, learn in the Java. That will be for the iteration part, we also uh, learn in depth in Java. But now you just see here, you just learn the, that is the iteration. Just, uh, do this code.
ओके देवेंद्र शेयर योर स्क्रीन यस ओके लेट लेट यस यस ओके स्टॉप शेयर ओके नाउ द वी डू टू द नेक्स्ट We do to the dates. So how we print that uh, that in a website? How we print the date that I previously shown you the website that will print the date and time. So how we print the date? So I am just starting the dates. Uh, then after the next session, we will do the we will do the more programs about the dates and times. So let's start the dates with one example today. In your system, we have taken the seven numbers: two thousand eighteen, eleven, twenty-four, ten, thirty-three, thirty, and zero. They are a type. In the D, that means your twenty-four is your date. Ten, thirty-three, thirty is your timing. And then two zero one eight is your year. So the that number we will we uh, we will show here constant d equals to new date in that array from array fashion. Just do in your system the first example of date and time. Then we will uh, do the next in the next session. The devil did the share screen. Okay, sir. Yes, now show the output. Yes, that is the Indian Standard Time. It is your ER is two zero one eight twenty four December, and your timing is ten thirty three. Okay, now stop share. That is that in that time you can print the date and time in any website. Basically, if you implement the date and time in any website, that the JavaScript will be implemented. Okay, so now we will do more example on date and time. in the next session okay so to now good night i stop the recording